what's up everyone welcome back to my channel and this is gonna be and today video as you can tell from the title of the video is this rose gold shiny makeup and with this kind of bronzy glossy lip and today video is kind of special because it is talk through video that some of you requested so without further ado let's get into the tutorial shall we let's get started so first we're going to use a moisturizer and I feel like I should use a serum first and recently I've been using this um, Cosarac Advanced Snail 96 Power Essence and it's quite good but I feel a little bit slimy because it's a snail product oh that's gross but it's really moisturizing so it, palm it, and apply it to my face like that. If you guys want me to review this product, please leave your comment down below. I've been trying a lot of Cosarite product recently, and I've been liking them. They are really gentle, especially for those who have acne prone skin. I feel like you should try out Cosarite. So after that, I'm going to use my moisturizer this is from Etude House Water Bob Bob I don't know how to pronounce this just put it onto my face I forgot to mention this please excuse my pimple right here oh I don't know it just popped out I am going to use go straight with BB cream and this is the M Perfect Cover BB Cream from Misha. One of my favorite BB cream of all time. Do you guys prefer BB cream or foundation? For me, I most of the time I would mix BB cream with foundation. I rarely use BB cream alone, but today I feel like using something lighter for my face because I use a lot of foundation and I apply thick base makeup. use this brush and recently I've been trying out different way to apply my base makeup I feel like sponge is the best choice but sometimes some formulas of consistency require a different tool and some BB cream or foundation work better with brush and I feel like this BB cream works well with anything because the formula is really creamy and it's really easy to work with you can blend it effortlessly as you can see I just use the brush to buff it into my skin actually this brush apply foundation beautifully what I got something here for concealer I will be using my favorite concealer this is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Natural. Recently, I haven't been sleeping that well. I know I always go to sleep like very, very late because I've been into this YouTube things and just learning to edit and try to research for any way to improve the qualities of my video. So I always go to sleep very late and that's not good for my health when that concealer into my skin. So now I'm gonna powder my face. I um, don't know what powder to use today. So I'm using this the style fitting wear cashmere powder SPF 15. This powder is really great. 
This is from Misha, by the way, and it's kind of helped make my makeup last long, but it's not trans translucent. Normally, I love using translucent powder because I would wear thick layers of foundation and I just dust lightly dust translucent powder on my face because I don't want extra coverage on my face but this even it's not translucent but it doesn't cake up and it's kind of uh, mattify the skin and smooth out the skin and really give that natural finish to the skin I love this so here I'm using my elf lock on liners and brow cream in the shade dark brown because the shade dark brown, I like it because it's more on a cool tone, but I only use it on the outer parts of my brow because it's really dark. So we should. Let's start with the eyes. I'm gonna be using this Revlon uh, Link Shadow Matte in the shade Bone. This just help setting any BB cream or concealer on the eyelids, and just gonna act as a base for other shadow to blend on like seamlessly. So the trick is that you always put on light color on your lid before using any dark color because that's going to help you blend those dark color easily. So I'm going to use my cream shadow from Misha. This is Mono Touch shadow in the, the shade CBR01 and this shadow look amazing let me show you the swatch it's like a very nice rose gold bronzy shade and it's super glittery it has that specks of silver glitter and brown glitter and it just looks stunning I mean, it's just good on its own already as you can see when I just put that on it just look really sparkly but by the way you have to use um, outer shadow on top of this because this really creamy and really wet that's why it's kind of budge and crease if you don't use outer shadow on top of it so I'm gonna use my finger to put that onto the inner corners of my eye as well. The main shadow today, I'm gonna be using this on uh, NYX Pigment Drum Dramatic Chrome Eyeshadow Pigment in the shade Barely There. And I use this like almost every day because I really love it so I'm gonna use this flat brush to use that rose gold shade all over my eyes I'm gonna put my hair to the back and so that it's easier for me to do makeup so now I'm gonna deepen up that outer corner using this BH Wild Char palette that I used in my last tutorial I love this palette so much so I'm gonna be using this copperish brown shade this is my favorite color of this palette just use this brush I 
I love using this smaller blending brush first to put darker shade on my outer corner because we can blend it out with bigger brush later. If you just go straight to big brush sometime, you can mess up. Some of you might feel like, oh, that's too much glitter because I use glitter on the inner corner and also on the outer corner but I feel like this is what I call glam to me just gonna just blending that out so as you can see my lid looks so glossy right now and I'm gonna use this dark chocolatey shade right here just put that to deepen up the look I'm thinking of doing a cut crease makeup tutorial not sure if you would like it but uh, I always do those kind of dramatic looks so I want to do something more bearable for daytime and I were thinking of doing like girly cute makeup look if you guys want to see that please let me know the lighting doesn't do my makeup justice at all I'm adding a lot of brown on the outer corner but in camera I feel like it still look really light so just blending that out dark chocolatey color on to the outer corners of my lower lash line and pick up that copperish brown and put it on the middle parts of my eyes so I'm gonna be using my favorite brush liner from L'Oreal and just gonna line my eye use my eyelid this side of my eyelid kind of look thicker than this the crease because I woke up like this I, I slipped on the side and my this side got swollen so here my eyelid kind of look a bit puffy and swollen let me show I lost color you can use any eyelash color one but I'm not going to apply too much mascara here because we are going to put on some glossy. So yeah, now um, gonna apply some glossy to dramatize our look. So now we are going to apply some false lashes here. First, just gonna grab the front part and stick. And use your finger to push the lashes. Make sure it stick really well. And let the glue dry. I'm gonna try doing it more often so that I can get used to talk through because I like doing talk through because I can just talk freely but. I'm actually messing up a lot, I know, here. Wow. I'm gonna use this NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in the shade Yogurt. Like 
I need more sparkles, so I'm gonna be using my Play 101 pencil in the shade number 5. This is a very nice sparkly gold. It's time to bronze our face. I'm gonna be using this bronzer from the palette right here and warm up my complexion and also give a nice shape to my face. That's so. For blush, I will be using this black from the same palette. It's just a very nice peachy blush. Really pretty with this eye makeup. Just brush it onto the cheek. So, never forgot to. Uh, Control my nose using more cool tones, cool tone shade. My nose is so flat, so I cannot skip this step. Make sure blends it really well. So I'm gonna highlight my face using the same highlight in the the highlight in the same palette and it's just a very nice peachy shade and put that on my cheekbone as you can see it's really glowy on my nose a bit and I feel like my, the blush is not enough so I just apply more blush on to my cheek yeah so now it's time for the lips. I'm not sure what lip product I want to use. I want to try using that shadow on to my cheek like as a highlight. Use a smaller brush to pick up the same shadow that we put on our eyes just on the very high points of my cheek for that rose gold pop of highlight. Whoa. It's a bit dark as a highlight, I feel. Is that too much? Yeah, I feel like this is more like a hangover makeup. <laughs> well, that's really dark. I'm not sure what I should use. Shade, so no, I want to use something more toned down because I actually wear a lot of blush right now, and this highlight kind of look super pink. So I want to use more on it of a toned down lipstick. And so for the lip, I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild Make a Last Lipstick in the shade Sandstorm, and this is one of my favorite lipstick of all time because. It's a very unique color. I don't have anything like this in my collection. It's a very nice brown terracotta shade, as you can see. It looks really nice, and it would go well with any makeup look. Apply it onto my lips. I get asked a lot about this uh, lipstick whenever I wear this people would ask what the product you are wearing that's look really unique and really nice and I actually bought a backup of this because I know I would wear out of this because I wear this like all the time yeah so you can stop here actually I feel like I like how the lipstick look on my 
uh, with this eye makeup but I want to add more gloss to uh, this because we cannot have enough shine right so this is Misha signature lip gloss in the shade SOR2 which is a very nice like um, orange but it's it's a nudie orange actually it's not that bright it, but on camera it's kind of look super bright so just gonna apply this gloss a little bit onto the center of my lip to give my lip more volume I feel like this gloss look good with most like many of the lip product that I own I like topping it off to give like extra glossiness to my lips as you can see so yeah that's complete the look I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you guys like this kind of talk through video more than voiceover please let me know I will do this more often I know that I kind of look a bit clumsy in talk through video like put makeup and talks while doing my makeup and but I will film this uh, more often so that I can get used to it thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like comment and share with friends and family and hope you guys have a good day thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video bye